Hi again, my name is Eric Engel. This is the Eric Engel Show. And today I have a video for you that I think encapsulates Appalachia in a song. I think this is an Appalachian anthem and it is from Appalachian musician Tyler Childers and it's entitled uh, Nose on the Grindstone. Daddy worked like a mule mine in Pike County Cove They fucked up his back and couldn't work anymore He said one of these days you'll get out of these hills Keep your nose on the grindstone and out of the pills See the ways of this world will just bring you to tears Keep the Lord in your heart and you'll have nothing to fear Live the best that you can and don't lie and don't steal Keep your nose on the grindstone and out of the pills Daddy, I've been trying, I just can't catch a break There's too much in this world I can't seem to shake But I remember your words, Lord, that bring me chills. Keep your nose on the grindstone and out of the pills. Keep in mind that a man's just as good as his word It takes twice as long to build bridges you burn And there's hurt you can cause, time alone cannot heal Keep your nose on the grindstone and out of the pills Daddy, I've been trying, I just can't catch a break it's too much in this world I can't seem to shake But I remember your words Lord, they bring me chills Keep your nose on the grindstone And out of the pills Keep your nose on the grindstone Wasn't that a heck of a song? I mean, it, it just speaks to the culture here. It speaks to what we've been through in our history, especially in states like West Virginia and the state of Kentucky and others here in central Appalachia. Um, you know, while I'm not a religious person, so many of us are, and so many of us look for strength in our communities, not just in churches, but uh, in unions, in community centers in so many different ways here in Appalachia um, and you know we go way back with solidarity and I think that something that gets missed in Appalachia is just how much solidarity there has been even multiracial solidarity yes we deal with racism here and things of that nature uh, just like we do across the country but in Appalachia we're, we're kind of different because it's not ubiquitous. It's not across our states where white supremacy is on hold, you know, has, has a strong hold. Um, we are a much more diverse uh, people and community than I think we're ever really given credit for. And I just want to take a few minutes today and talk about how important that is. And one of the most important ways that we're able to show in West Virginia that we really are a multiracial society, that we really do care about solidarity, is by looking at the history of the mine wars in the early 20th century. Uh, this month marks the 100th anniversary 
of the Battle of Blair Mountain and the West Virginia Mine Wars that you may have heard something about. And if you haven't, I'm going to show you some information on here in just a moment um, that that will inform you a little bit about those mine wars. And, and I'll show you some uh, resources that you can click on or, or follow uh, to learn more. Um, but those mine wars occurred in Southern West Virginia, places like Logan County, West Virginia, Mingo County, West Virginia, because our people were being taken advantage of by fossil fuels bosses. Uh, our, since our state became a state in West Virginia on June 20th, 1863, we have been taken advantage of for our natural resources. We have been an extraction zone. We have been a sacrifice zone um, to help power and provide products for the rest of the country and the rest of the world. And, and a lot of that wealth that's generated from doing that has gone out of state. It doesn't stay here. And that's deliberate. That's a result of both state and federal public policy and, and what corporations and industry are able to get away with by exploiting us here. And so a hundred years ago this month, uh, a multiracial coalition of miners said they'd had enough and they wanted to union organize. And of course the corporations at that time fought back, didn't just fight back, but fought back with arms, fought back with an army of their own. Uh, and then eventually the National Guard even got called in to uh, suppress what was a major conflict happening in the hills of West Virginia. Uh, so I encourage you to look at the resources that you've been provided uh, and research more about West Virginia miners in the history of the mine wars. Um, that solidarity is so important. Uh, and that familiarity and community in Appalachia is so important. Uh, I'm also going to show you here a picture, <coughs> excuse me, of a cellar house on my grandparents' property in West Virginia. Um, and this cellar house was over a hundred years old. The house part of it has recently been torn down. It was falling in, but the cellar remains in the hillside uh, so that there's no erosion of the hill. Um, and this cellar house has such an amazing history that I hope to be able to write about in, uh, in future books that I, that I hope to maybe one day publish about my family and our West Virginia history here. <clears throat> but this cellar house, the reason I show you a picture of it is not only did it house uh, my grandfather's mother, okay, uh, who he took care of for many years after the death of her husband, uh, his father, uh, as a condition of inheriting this property. So my grandfather inherited the property on the condition that he take care of his mother, and she lived to be 93, so he helped take care of her for a long time, although she was a fiercely independent person who didn't need a lot of direct care until the very end. Um, and she passed away the year I was born in 1985, but she lived in this cellar house for a long time, as did others. My family actually rented this house out to a black family who was in need at that time of a place to live. And I'm, I, I'm not sure how long uh, that rental took place, but it did take place. A black family lived in this cellar house for, for quite a while. So um, that's just another example of uh, how there is solidarity in the hills of West Virginia. There is community. There, there is compassion and caring, whether it's religiously motivated or not. Um, and that house is a, has a rich history, has been part of generations of my family. So many stories to tell, and I'm so proud of, of my family's roots uh, here in West Virginia where that house is located, uh, that I wanted to share that with you as an example of community and solidarity. Uh, one other thing I'll say is, uh, in terms of solidarity, in terms of labor solidarity, right now, as I speak, uh, Nabisco workers, you may know Nabisco is the company that makes Oreos, right? They are on strike. All across the country, they are on strike because of the crap that the managers, the owners are pulling when it comes to not wanting to pay overtime, even though some of these workers have worked 60 and 70 hour weeks to deliver us snacks and goodies throughout the pandemic. Now they're trying to change the way that overtime gets paid to uh, save the company a buck and not pay these workers what they deserve. So they are on strike. So I encourage you to look up the ownership of Nabisco. Um, you know, with all the mergers and acquisitions and these huge corporate conglomerates, it can be hard to tell who owns what and, 
you know, what's investor owned and this and that. So I encourage you to look up the ownership and investment structure of Nabisco. And I encourage you not to buy Nabisco products right now while these folks are on strike. If by the time you see this, maybe an agreement has been come to uh, that works for the laborers and they're back to work, that's okay. But in the meantime, if you see that they're still on strike, look up this ownership structure and make sure that you're not buying Nabisco products. Um, I will, as part of this video, try to provide you with a graphic of the ownership structure to be as helpful as I can to show you kind of the cor corporate conglomeration involved here in the ownership and the major players and, and uh, show you how not to buy those products. I'll you know, hopefully include a, a list of products that you should avoid purchasing right now during the strike to show nationwide union solidarity. Um, I love these hills of West Virginia and I, I love our people here. And as Tyler's song said, uh, we are in desperate shape here after decades and centuries of exploitation. We're facing one of the worst opioid crises in the country and the world, if not the worst. Um, we continue to suffer <clears throat> from that, but you have to understand that all of the different variables at play. It's not just that someone makes a bad choice one day and starts using uh, an opiate or something like that and it's 110% their fault. Maybe they did it at a party or something and you just wanna blame them. There's so much more to it than that. There's, there's poverty statistics. There's this level of desperation that really any statistic can't quite pinpoint. Um, and it's a desperation that we need to use public policy as well as a communal spirit and solidarity across race, across sexual orientation and gender identity, across uh, every aspect and identity of humankind, solidarity to overcome. So I hope that this video has given you a deeper, more meaningful appreciation of West Virginia, Central Appalachia, uh, and our culture here and everything that we uh, everything that we are, everything that we represent. I hope Tyler's song touched you. Uh, I hope the picture of my, my family's cellar house and, and the, uh, the understanding of the deep history behind that uh, is meaningful to you, at least a brief glimpse of that history. Uh, I hope that your research into the mine wars uh, and the history of the Battle of Blair Mountain and other uh, battles and incidents surrounding the mine wars has been informative and touching to you. And I hope that you'll continue to watch us on the Appalachia channel. Maybe go out and get some of our gear, some of our t-shirts out there uh, and that are representative of Appalachian culture, even if you don't happen to live in Appalachia. And uh, we hope that you'll share these videos uh, with your friends and uh, get the word out that there are some folks here in Appalachia trying to make a real difference, a progressive difference for everyone. Thank you. Thank you.